Hi everybody, Peter of England. Today's video is a lead on from the previous video which I did on the big wind turbine folly. Uh, why I'm doing it now, uh, three, no, I think it's four or five days after that video, why I'm making this one, is this I just saw a news release yesterday in the United Kingdom papers by the new Prime Minister, Keir Starmer, or Sir Keir Starmer, who couldn't really be more juiced in to the establishment than, than anyone. Um, he's now making an announcement that a new bill is going to be introduced, and it's a bill for the people, um, and it's called the Great Electricity Energy Bill. Um, and that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a great energy bill for the people of the United Kingdom because what he's proposing now is the future for renewable energy is nothing more than more of these things, offshore wind turbines. So before we get ahead on this, I'm going to actually just clarify two things. We've got some uh, changes since the last election. We've got this character called Keir Starmer, who's a Freemason. We've got the Foreign Secretary, a guy called David Lamy, who in the last period of Parliament was the highest paid um, MP uh, within the House of Commons. And really why I'm emphasising this is to say this is how deep the rot goes and the Freemasonic Luciferian agenda is a blanket that is spread worldwide because Lamy is a particular friend of Barack Obama and has had a type of, a, shall we say, a very close relationship with him because they're both black. And also, uh, Keir Starmer has supposed to have been taking um, uh, personal development um, uh, advice from Barack Obama, how to present himself better to the public. So before we get any further, I'm going to show you who these characters are, just in case you don't uh, understand who they are. And what we've got here is a picture of David Lamy covering up his eye, which is a Masonic Luciferian symbol um, to show the all-seeing eye, or that which doesn't see, does see. Um, and what we've also got is the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Sir Keir Starmer, showing a very, very particular type of uh, hand signal that is uh, reasonably exclusive to Freemasonic Blue Lodges internationally. So having said that, why is all this behind me pertinent? Because I'm going to cover it now. I'm going to do this video in under 10 minutes, I promise. Um, and what I want to do is just to emphasize that I have been on this campaign for a long, long time. I'm going to show you now the front of a leaflet that I actually was putting out on the streets, giving to anyone who would be interested in them. Uh, this was in 2004, and as you can see, you can read it, it's quite explicit on the front cover. It's actually saying that the British government means you harm and operates as a lying, corrupt um, criminal enterprise. And in effect, you have a duty morally, socially, politically, spiritually, ethically to act against it. Refusing to act against it makes you complicit in its criminality and accepting of everything it does to you. And so, what have we got? We've got an event, this wind turbine uh, folly, Bearing in mind, I'm emphasizing this for the people in the UK on the basis of that um, the UK is a leading participant for uh, rolling out these agendas worldwide. And why that is, it's supposed to have the best judiciary, the mother of all parliaments. It's got to have supposedly been the, the, because of the empirical reach and domination of the world, a great example for other countries to follow. However, what it's done is it's taught the world how to be corrupt and to be deceptive. So what we have, for example, in all these countries of Europe, we've got Germany, who has got the largest number of wind turbines. The United Kingdom has got double the amount of wind turbines than France. And France, for example, has got uh, um, at least, I think it's got uh, two-thirds the extra surface area of the United Kingdom. So you have to ask yourself, why are five international corporations that are not UK-registered corporations bleeding off all the profits that are coming out of these, these scandals. 
Um, since 1998, as I mentioned in the previous video, which I'll link into this one, um, we've had a lot of um, impetus from the European Union to create more of these wind turbines, put them up wherever they could be put up. Farmers are paid a pittance and we end up with electricity bills highlighted here. But before we get onto this detail here, which I'm only going to cover briefly because you can read it, it's self-explanatory, what we have here is an, a, a way or an event for you to be able to make a gesture that you are aware of this. We can have these delivered to you, no problem, but you must become a member of Weir Bank uh, through the Weir Bank website. Um, and what we suggest is you use the national insurance number, HMRC checkbook through Citibank to make payments to the electricity companies. You can do it through the for the electricity company, but you can do it for all utilities. A little known point here, because I'm, I'm getting tight on time here, is that did you know, as far as your electricity bill is concerned, that you pay only for the metered content of the meter. So you pay for the turning of the wheel on the electricity box that the service provider provides to you. It is perfectly feasible to notify your service provider that you wish to discontinue with them, install your own electricity box, and then become your own provider. Not many people know of this, but that is a fact. The boxes were in historically, or from a, a, an, an ancient perspective, were all Siemens boxes. So in effect, uh, the abstraction of electricity was, a, was a, a charge of thieving electricity. But what you were doing is you were thieving the revenue from the box provider. So that's very, very important to, to distinguish. So let's quickly suggest that these checks provide through your Accessory Key V account and a link and a proof that you are in a trustee beneficiary relationship with the revenue and the government because they're accepting taxes and money from you and so are in a fiduciary relationship with you. That being said, let's look at uh, Starmer's plan for this great British energy bill, okay? And the bill comes down here. That's the deal for you. So we've got onshore and offshore, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. We'll just go through onshore for now. Unit cost, three million average. The subsidy is 500,000 per unit. Um, year one setup costs. That's just to get the thing out of the box and put up. Transportation, installation, commissioning, and the service contract give us a figure of around here, 8,500 units on shore currently, three, uh, three million plus 600,000, 3.6 million. So that comes in to around about a 30 billion a year cost. On the offshore side, we have a smaller amount of units, but they are much more expensive expensive at around about 10 million for the General Electric ones. The subsidy is much higher, therefore. That's why Starmer is emphasizing that the British government are getting behind this great British energy bill offshore because the costs and the money that they can plow into these companies or corporations is vastly superior. And who pays for it? You pay for it. The electricity bills go up. They escalate like this. Look. Look how they've escalated. This is the important thing. The combination between the costs onshore, the costs offshore, 63 billion. There are 20, I think there are about 28 billion households in the United Kingdom, as an example. And the total electric... Uh, Revenue generated per annum is around about that at a thousand uh, pounds per, per year per household. So that's bringing in about 28 billion. Have you any wonder why your electricity bills escalate all the time? And that's the key point. The bills are going up to pay for the PALs like Lamy, 
Keir Starmer and all the people who are juiced in, the corporatocracy, who, for example, with the, the ones who were in the previous Conservative government, the same doesn't matter whether it's Democrats or, or, or Republicans in the United, uh, United States, once they're out of office, they just sashay their way in through the revolving door mechanism, whereby now they are rewarded for the favours that they did in office. Okay, you see how it works. So please be aware that this con, 2013 to 2020, roughly a, a, a fee that was uh, around about 50, uh, 50 pounds per megawatt hour, 21, 150, 22, 200, up to a spike at 363. And it will get worse, it won't get better. So for those people who are, are unaware, though they were emphasized in the previous video, uh, those are the Citibank HMRC checks. Let's take a stand. Let's either boycott these electricity bills or your utility bills. Um, get behind this video. I will be more than happy to show you the ways to do it, but you've got to do something as they will grind you into the ground. Okay? Thank you very much.